In the past year, our world experienced unprecedented heat waves, subjecting billions of people to extended periods of extreme temperatures and severe weather conditions, including deadly wildfires and floods, all exacerbated by the undeniable impact of global warming. Moreover, a new report just published in Nature indicates that a quarter of the global population faced dangerous level of heat endangering their well-being. This unsettling reality is not an isolated incident, but rather a precursor to more severe consequences unless decisive actions are taken. The primary culprit is our continued dependence on fossil fuels, coal, oil and natural gas, which significantly contribute to the escalating temperatures, approximately 80%. But not everybody knows that the frequent consumption of beef and other animal products worsens this environmental crisis. Between 19 and 20 percent of total greenhouse gas emission are caused by intensive animal farming. In US alone, commercial slaughter in 2015 accounted for 20.8, yes, 20.8 million head of cattle, 116.5 million hogs, approximately 2 million sheep and lambs, and 8.8 billion chicken, 232 million turkeys, and 27.7 million ducks. Unbelievable. In summary, total federally inspected red meat and poultry production in the U.S. alone in 2015 was 94.3 billion pounds of meat, a record high. The problem is that for many people, meat is considered a staple food, with some eating either beef chicken, lamb, pork, ham, salami, bacon, or sausages daily, often several times a day. A selection of fried bacon, sausages, scrambled eggs, ham, and cheese is typically served as an English or full American breakfast in many hotels and in many houses. It may be followed by hamburger or meat sandwich, you can choose between ham, turkey, chicken, or roast or roast beef for lunch, and often roasted or sauté meat, usually chicken, pork, or beef, sometimes, very rarely, fish for dinner. This is the, the norm. This is the norm for many people uh, around the world. Americans eat more meat than anyone else in the world. In 2016, the American, the average American consumed around 20, uh, 97 kilograms, 213 pounds of red meat per person, followed by 95 kilograms, 209 pounds in Australia, 86 kilo, 189 pounds in Argentina, and 69 kilos, that is 152 pounds in Europe per capita, per person. Per capita meat consumption has also increased dramatically in many other countries as well. Since 1961, meat consumption in China has grown approximately 15-fold, 15-fold, and in Brazil, 4-fold. These alarming trends have dire consequences, not only for, for human health, but also for environmental health and animal welfare. But most importantly, when you eat chicken, pork, beef, did you ask yourself 
what is the quality of the meat that I'm ingesting? Do you know that around two-thirds of domestic animals are raised in factory farms and treated as mere commodities? These industrial systems favor high production and low cost above all else and force billions of animals to live in what everybody describes, or at least in, in many journals, scientific journals, describe as unfair, smelly, dirty and precarious conditions. These animals cannot freely walk in the sun most of the time, breathe fresh air and eat naturally abundant food. They are brought up in confinement at high stocking densities. For example, millions of chickens will spend their entire life inside battery wire cages and calves and pigs in concrete floored metal stalls and windowless sheds. As you can imagine, these alienated, stressed and suffering creatures will never nurture and enjoy their offspring, build nests, dig around in the soil or live in a natural life. Dairy cows have their horn buds removed when they are eight weeks old and since then continually impregnated by artificial insemination to produce milk until after four or five years milk's production wanes and they are sent to slaughter. Young castrated steers and bullocks are not as fortunate and as soon after birth they are transported to cattle ranches where they are transformed into hamburger meat. These unnatural, uncrowded living condition, the poor quality of food they consume and the extensive use anti of antibiotics as growth promoters and for the prevention of infections have huge consequences of the quality of meat, milk and eggs produced and consumed by billions of unaware people. If consumers were shown how farmed animals were reared, they might never eat their meat, milk and eggs again. I suggest you watch two excellent documentaries on this topic, Dominion and Slaughterhouse. We urgently need Yes, we urgently need a food and farming revolution, one that drastically reduces the overconsumption of meat, especially of cheap, mass-produced and unhealthy meat and animal products. So, in summary, there is no doubt that persisting in burning fossil fuels and maintaining unsustainable dietary and lifestyle habits will not only perpetuate but also magnify these consequences of uh, global warming and extreme weather conditions presenting formidable challenges to ecosystem, communities, health system and the overall stability of our planet. Urgent and collective efforts are imperative to transition to sustainable practices and alleviate the imminent threats of climate change and growing environmental degradation. This is uh, Longevity Now, Longevity Now FL. Uh, I'm uh, Luigi Fontana, professor of medicine uh, and the uh, P. Uh, Leonard P. Ullman uh, Chair in Translational Metabolic Health, uh, scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center RPA Clinic at the University of Sydney. And uh, 
clinical academic in the Department of Endocrinology uh, at the Royal Prince Alfred uh, Hospital. All opinions expressed in my videos, books and articles are my own uh, and uh, hope that you know, some of this uh, information can uh, help you to reflect and make uh, proper changes and decisions in your life. Thank you.